Welcome to my passion travel channel, a channel specializing in street food and travel. Fried eggplant. Sliced eggplant dipped in batter and deep fried until golden brown. Here's a simple recipe for fried eggplant. Ingredients. One large eggplant. Two eggs. One cup breadcrumbs. You can also use panko breadcrumbs for extra crunch. One to two cup grated Parmesan cheese. Optional. Salt and pepper to taste vegetable oil for frying instructions. Wash the eggplant and slice it into rounds, about one four to one to two inch thick. Sprinkle both sides of the eggplant slices with salt and let them sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. This helps draw out excess moisture and bitterness from the eggplant. After 15 to 20 minutes, rinse the eggplant slices under cold water and pat them dry with paper towels. In a shallow bowl, beat the eggs with a pinch of salt and pepper. In another shallow bowl, mix together the breadcrumbs and grated Parmesan cheese, if using. Heat vegetable oil in a large skillet over medium heat. Dip each eggplant slice into the beaten eggs, coating both sides, then dredge them in the breadcrumb mixture pressing gently to adhere. Place the coated eggplant slices in the hot oil and fry until golden brown on both sides, about three to four minutes per side. Once cooked, transfer the fried eggplant slices to a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serve hot as a side dish or appetizer, optionally garnished with grated Parmesan cheese or chopped fresh herbs. Baked Sweet Potatoes Whole sweet potatoes baked until soft and served as a snack or side dish. Here's a simple recipe for baked sweet potatoes. Ingredients Four medium-sized sweet potatoes, olive oil salt, optional toppings, butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, marshmallows, chopped nuts, or herbs like thyme or rosemary. Instructions Preheat your oven to 400 degree F, 200 degree C. Scrub the sweet potatoes clean under running water and pat them dry with a towel. Pierce each sweet potato several times with a fork to allow steam to escape while baking. Rub the sweet potatoes lightly with olive oil and sprinkle with salt. Place the sweet potatoes on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or aluminum foil, leaving some space between them. Bake the sweet potatoes in the preheated oven for about 45. 60 minutes, or until they are tender and easily pierced with a fork. Once the sweet potatoes are done baking, remove them from the oven and let them cool for a few minutes before handling. Slice each sweet potato open lengthwise and fluff the insides with a fork. Add your desired toppings such as butter, cinnamon, brown sugar, marshmallows, chopped nuts, or herbs. Serve the baked sweet potatoes hot as a side dish or a light meal. Beef kebabs, marinated and grilled skewered beef, served with onions and peppers. Here's a simple recipe for beef kebabs. Ingredients. 1 pound, 450 g, beef sirloin or steak, cut into 1 inch cubes, 1 red bell pepper, cut into chunks, 1 green bell pepper, cut into chunks 1 onion, cut into chunks, wooden or metal skewers, olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Optional marinade ingredients. Minced garlic, lemon juice, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, paprika, cumin, or your favorite herbs and spices. Instructions. If using wooden skewers, soak them in water for about 30 minutes to prevent them from burning during grilling. In a bowl, prepare the marinade by combining olive oil with salt, pepper, and any additional flavorings you like such as minced garlic, lemon juice, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, paprika, cumin, or herbs. Add the beef cubes to the marinade and toss to coat evenly. Let the beef marinate in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to allow the flavors to develop. Preheat your grill to medium-high heat. Thread the marinated beef cubes, bell pepper chunks, and onion chunks onto the skewers, alternating between the ingredients. Brush the assembled kebabs with a little olive oil to prevent sticking to the grill. Place the kebabs on the preheated grill and cook for about 8, 10 minutes, turning occasionally or until the beef is cooked to your desired level of doneness and the vegetables are tender and slightly charred. 
Once cooked, remove the kebabs from the grill and let them rest for a few minutes before serving. Serve the beef kebabs hot with your favorite side dishes such as rice, salad, or grilled vegetables. Sorrel drink, a tangy and refreshing drink made from dried sorrel leaves, often sweetened with sugar. Sorrel drink is a refreshing beverage made from the sepals of the roselle plant, Hibiscus sabdarifa, often flavored with ginger, cloves, and sometimes rum. Here's a simple recipe to make sorrel drink. Ingredients. Two cups dried sorrel, hibiscus. Petals. Eight cups water, one cinnamon stick, six whole cloves one. Two inches fresh ginger, sliced, optional, sugar or honey. To taste rum, optional for an alcoholic version. Ice cubes for serving lime or orange slices. For garnish, optional. Instructions. In a large pot, bring the water to a boil. Add the dried sorrel petals, cinnamon stick, cloves, and sliced ginger, if using, to the boiling water. Reduce the heat and let the mixture simmer for about 10, 15 minutes, stirring occasionally. Remove the pot from the heat and let the sorrel mixture steep and cool to room temperature, allowing the flavors to infuse. Once cooled, strain the sorrel mixture through a fine mesh sieve or cheesecloth into a pitcher to remove the solids. Sweeten the sorrel drink with sugar or honey to taste, stirring until dissolved. If making an alcoholic version, stir in rum to your desired strength. Chill the sorrel drink in the refrigerator for at least one, two hours or until cold. Serve the sorrel drink over ice cubes and glasses. Fried fish, fresh fish coated in spices and fried until crispy. Here's a simple recipe for fried fish. Ingredients. Four fillets of fresh fish such as tilapia, cod, or catfish. One cup all-purpose flour, one teaspoon salt. One teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon paprika, one two teaspoon garlic powder, one two teaspoon onion powder. Vegetable oil for frying lemon wedges, for serving tartar sauce or your favorite dipping sauce. For serving, optional. Instructions. In a shallow dish, mix together the flour, salt, black pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and onion powder until well combined. Pat the fish fillets dry with paper towels to remove any excess moisture. Heat vegetable oil in a large skillet or frying pan over medium-high heat until it reaches 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Dredge each fish fillet in the seasoned flour mixture, shaking off any excess. Carefully place the coated fish fillets into the hot oil, being careful not to overcrowd the pan. Fry in batches if necessary. Fry the fish for about three, four minutes per side, or until golden brown and cooked through. The internal temperature of the fish should reach 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 63 degrees Celsius. Once cooked, transfer the fried fish to a plate lined with paper towels to drain any excess oil. Serve the fried fish hot, garnished with lemon wedges and accompanied by tartar sauce or your favorite dipping sauce if desired.